Uh, Senator Roger Marshall, a Republican from Kansas, kind enough to join us. Senator, what do you think of all this? Well, Neil, certainly Congresswoman Green has every right to be frustrated. I'm as frustrated as anybody is. But elections have consequences. The American people have given us the White House with the most liberal, biggest spending president we've ever seen. They've given the Democrats the majority in the Senate. And we have a thin, thin uh, majority in the House. And this is what spending looks like under that type of levers. Uh, so, look, everyone's down at this uh, irrational level. They're at an emotional level right now. I I hope that they can rise up to a rational level and think about this with some common sense. And I would tell you, honest to goodness, Moses could not do a better job than Speaker Johnson is doing right now. Look, he's as a conservative person as there is up here. He hates this bill, but this is the, the least amount of spending he can get. We've got to get him some freedom. We've got to fix the system. The system is broken. That's why for the past six months, we've been working on a package of bills that would go back and go through the budget process, put some teeth with the deadlines and get every one of these bills to the floor one at a time. Let America see us. Uh, listen, let's rise up to at least the rational level. All right. So in your view, it's irrational to be even considering dumping the speaker that even Moses couldn't do this. I wonder if Moses would even want this, by the way. But having said that, <laughs> then what? I mean, because this same measure, Senator, is going to go to you guys in the Senate. It has to get, I guess, before midnight tonight. What's the latest? Right. Well, look, I, I think that they had the votes to get this across the finish line. We got some amendments we'd like to get through the process. Well, but I think it, it gets across the finish line. But this is deja vu all over again. I've been doing this now, I guess, up here six years. This happens every time. We wait till the last second. We wait till the government's about to run out of money. They put in all these bridges to nowhere and they say, here it is. Let's go back to the process. Uh, we, we've sat down with about 18 members of the Senate so far on our new budget process, putting teeth with the deadlines that we have set up, come up with a real budget resolution. We can't live in this country that's spending $7 trillion but only taking in $5 trillion. That's what's irrational. Again, the congressman has every right to be upset and frustrated, but let's be constructive with this and move forward. And then if they don't like it, then the elections, let the election change it in November. If she wants to run for leadership, let her run for leadership. But somebody has to lead over there. Speaker Johnson has my support. I don't support this bill, but I support Speaker Johnson. Got it. Senator, thank you very much. Uh, and, and for responding to all this breaking news.